Okay, I gotta run through the babies quick. Race four is over. I'm in race six with Cavill Hanover. I went through most of the babies with you guys, talked about the sets at the start, talked about a top 15 list. I'm gonna run through them all real quick. See how long it takes me to get to number 64. Adrenaline Rush. A uh, bit of a slacker, bit of a lazy horse, but he looked good. And when I went with him the other day and put him in gear, he actually paced really, really well. He's okay. Argento made a break the other day. Got to tinker with him. Going to take him over to the vet and get him looked at when we take, maybe in a week, when we take uh, Johan up to get his leg scanned a week or 10 days. We'll take Argento up and get him fluoroscope. Barbie's crown looked good. Really happy with her. Beef and cheddar, you can tell he's got a ton of speed and lots to offer. Got to get his head squared on, uh, screwed on straight, and I think that won't be a problem. Braymar looked fantastic. Better's Hope could have made the top 15 list. He looked really, really good, and uh, Drew Neal went with him. He said, geez, I love that little Better's Light Colt in the last. Hopefully, he keeps going forward. Really happy with him. Blue Monk, steering a little goofy, but you guys have no idea how little this horse knew when he came to the barn. What he's absorbed and used in the last three weeks is nothing short of incredible. I'm really impressed with Blue Monk, and I hope he continues to get better. Brilliant corners, you could tell, is very fast. Made a couple little speed breaks, being a little bit of a goofball, but we'll get him straightened away. Danny's right, this guy can flat out fly. Broadway roll looked good. She could have made the top 15 list. This filly is underestimated on a regular basis. That will change. James, I think, is teetering on buying shares of this filly. He said, I don't know why she's so cheap. I said, well, because the gentleman, Pete, and his, and his, and his uh, partners sold her for, for, uh, for a small amount of money, which I was happy with. Um, and I think she is going to show you why James keeps talking about her very, very soon. This is a filly that's got a lot going on. Really impressed with her. Can't wait to see what she does throughout the winter into the spring. Cambridge Star, I talked about him. He shocked the hell out of me. This horse looked good. Flat out good on Sunday at the open house. Can't deny my spirit looked good. He's getting a curb crowd, but he looked great again the other day. I think Drew was just a little shy and didn't want to put him in gear. Um, but he is, we've talked about him. He's a freak. Can't muscle me. Looked really, really good the other day. Very happy with her. Captain's May, J Jody said he really liked the way she moved. If anything, he thought she was crowding the shaft a little bit. I thought she looked great. We're going to keep an eye on her, but she was much, much better. You can see in the burn too. She's completely changed. Just a beautiful little filly. Carry Big Stick, probably one of the most improved horses in the universe over the last 10 days. He was really giving me fits. About 10 days ago, we changed a ton of gear on him, changed his shoes. We had hobbles on him. We had hobbles off him. Phil really liked him the other day. I think I know what makes him tick now. And we're just changing some more little things. You're going to see Carrie Big Sticks got a lot to offer this barn throughout the winter and spring. I'd be surprised if he didn't. Cut the line. Look great again. Mario keeps raving about her. She looks very, very good. This is Brush Cut's sister. Really happy with her. Uh, Desperado looked good. Eternity Road looked fantastic on Sunday. Can't ask for much more of him. I don't want to skip right over Desperado without saying much about him. He looked good. And I like this Colt. And I think he shows a lot. Really impressed with Desperado. Eternity Road, as I said, looked fantastic. First glance, Paul come up and said, who's the white horse over there, the gray horse? I really like him. I said, that's an Ontario bred. That's a thinking out loud Colt. He looked good also. Fox Valley Britska did his work good. As I said, we throttled him back a little bit to work on his knees. And he looked great the other day. Fox Valley Britska, really impressed with Fox Valley Britska. I'm watching the fifth race parade. Got to hurry up. Uh, Fox Valley Britska looked great. Philly Fringe is number one. I can't say enough about how much this filly impressed me. She is a good-looking filly. Girls with Swirls made a little break, but she's been so good. I'm going to give her a pass and say it was the track. She wears flip-flops. I noticed a few of the horses that wore flip-flops really struggled on that icy track. Here's the problem. The track was great at 8 a.m. The sun came out. It got to zero, and it melted a little bit. And right after that, the sun went away, and the wind picked up, and it froze now. And all the horses with flip-flops on really struggled as the day went on. Try to tease me looked terrible, and she's looked great all along. It was her first day with flip-flops on, and she really struggled with them on. Uh, girls with swirls did this, is what I'm saying. She has flip-flops on also. Gray is a new red, look great. This filly's look good all along and continues to look like a professional. GW Chrome gets better every single time he gets in a set. I'm so impressed with what this horse has accomplished. Holy Chick continues to impress me. She might be lost in the shuffle to you. Just do yourself a favor and keep an eye on Holy Chick all winter long. She's just one of those horses that fly on... Compass Rose DC did the same thing all year. Flew under the radar, flew under the radar, and then, boom, on race day, gone. 
Uh, Italian Grit just needs a lot more work. He's just green, but a really nice Colt, and Drew really liked him also. A Glare AM, one or set after making a break. Looked impressive, run down Eternity Road. Sure, James might have had the binders on and the brakes on at the wire, but a Glare AM didn't. She was all business on Sunday, and that's what I want to see. I'm a lovely lady. Watch her video. Go back and look at her. Finish up her mile. She looked tremendous. I'm Hill on Wheels. Again, flip-flops, slipping, made breaks. Not a big deal. Give him a pass. Jazzy Judy, flip-flops on, made breaks, give her a pass. And she doesn't know anything anyway. We're, we're going to give her some time. She doesn't race until September of next year. Just keep an eye on Judy. We're going to give her a little time off. Bring her back. Put the hobbles on her. Guarantee you she's going to wow everybody this spring. Jesse Balboa, he's got a lot of work to do. He's got a little bit of an attitude, this horse. He was real good last week with me. And then the boys just went jog, jog, jog. And I think he... I think it's soaked back into him. So he's going to get a little bit of a heavy workload over the Christmas holidays. Santa's going to bring him some work for Christmas. Jesse Balboa will be just fine, though. Keystone Raven, James said, just got to keep burying her up and letting her get brave and brave and brave. She was good on Sunday. Let's roll on. He's getting better. I'm going to make some shoeing changes on him, take the hobbles off, and see if we can get him perfect. He's close. He's close to getting good. Just not quite there yet. Lincoln Hanover looked great. He was freshly castrated. Flip-flops on him. Be damned. He went, he went good on Sunday. Miss Meringue. James said she shied from the drone. Now, I don't know if it's a lie to you. It's a lie to me. Go back and watch the video. He said she was trotting great. She looked up and heard the drone, looked at it, and made a break. It does happen from time to time, but it is rare. Uh, Mama knows best. Mika sent me a message tonight. Said thanks for the shout out on the show. Mika Burkholder is is the the the, the, the breeder of Mama knows best, and I hope she does good for Mika. He's a good kid. Momo watched the third lap when actually Mark Isabel let her go. Drew Neal wasn't going with her. He was late, and Mark Isabel went with her. Sat at the back the whole way, which drives me bonkers. And then the last three eighths of the mile if that letter pace and she looked fantastic after that my jazz looked good all business yesterday really like this Philly's attitude no free lunch was strong and looked good northern blizzard would look good exactly how he's supposed to look off-road Hanover made a little break might have been slipping a little bit on that ice um Phil said he got a little spooky a little spooked and then he came right up trotting and he was all business this is a horse I've told everybody to watch I'll let him do all the talking for me this winter. It's a nice cold. Perfect record. Made a little break on Jody. Jody said, I just asked him for too much. He wasn't ready. Track was just starting to get a little slick. I asked him at the wrong time, and he made a break. Jody really liked him. I really like him. Pretty hard not to like this cold. Rito Sunshine. Again, flip-flops, but he didn't look that bad. I thought he looked okay. He just didn't have that pop that we needed. I'm pretty sure it's because he was on roller skates the whole way. Uh, Rose Run Wanda, she's going to take a lot of work, this filly. She's got uh, a bit of a poor attitude right now. We're going to change the bridle on her. Might be because of her feet. So we're going to change her shoes, change her bridle, and I'm going to work with her the next week, and we'll see how Wanda comes out of it. Rose Run, why not? Looked really, really good. Round midnight, a little bit like Wanda. He's going to have to go to school. He'll be a gelding tomorrow. Tomorrow, round midnight, is going to be castrated, and it won't be round midnight. It'll be around 11 o'clock in the morning. And uh, we'll see how his attitude progresses. It happens sometimes. You know, Sunshine's Finest was a sour, cranky horse to do. We castrated him. There you go. Oh, up, up, and away. So we'll see how round midnight looks after he's a gelding. Royal Tyrone, Jody, sent him to us and went with him, made a couple of breaks. But he needs to be gelded just because he's not bad. He just looks around. He won't pay attention to his work. And that happens sometimes. So Royal Tyrone, another one likely going to find the scalpel this week. Roy Hill looked good. This is a big, powerful colt. You're going to have to keep an eye on him all winter long. This is a colt I really like. And I mentioned it on the broadcast. I think come next summer, summer you guys are going to be paying attention to what Roy Hill does. Set the mood, look good. Certainly no excuses or, or issues with uh, with uh, set the mood. Really happy with what I've seen from him. So admirable, number two in the list. You guys should go back and watch the video and look how easy she did her work yesterday. Source Blue Chip, James said, greatly improved. That was his first day with the flip-flops. He went over the ice and looked great. Very impressed with him, but he might need to be a gelding also. Stacy Hanover couldn't trot over the uh, icy track. James said every time he asked her to, to speed up, she just got all out of gear and a little bunched up and just run. Uh, Sunshine in May looked great yesterday. Surreal Love looked really, really good yesterday. Sweet Ambition struggled a little bit. Tanzanite Tricks, first time with the hobbles on ever. Still did her work well. That's My Girl looked 
so, so good. I was very impressed. One with her and two the way Paul handled her. Just a great job by both of them. The fat Cobra looked good. Tipsy and Dixie, she needs to maybe have her head up a little bit. Uh, she was acting up a little bit. If she keeps it up, we'll throw the hobbles on her for a little while. But I'm happy with her. Try to tease me. Could not function on that greasy track, on the icy track yesterday. Walk on the moon looked great. War we was up. Almost got the job done and run at the wire. He's coming. He looked better. And uh, well and down looked fantastic. Won my heart, Hanover. Can't say enough about my girl. She looked fantastic. Fifth race is going past the quarter. I'm in the next. I got to get going. Hope you guys had a great time at the open house. Or if you weren't there, I hope it worked out well on TV. We do the best we can. Obviously, we're still learning as we go along. The first set was a, a bit of a fiasco. But that happens. All in all, it was a great open house. Thanks to everybody that took part, and I hope everybody had a great weekend. Take care.